Hello again, everyone. Thanks for coming to my channel and watching. Um, I'm not an expert on resin, but I'm just showing you how I do things. First thing I want to do is I do want to show you yesterday's how it uh, turned out. You can see that I do have, like right here, a couple of little of the, uh, what do you call it, um, little pigment that, that didn't mix up. And as you can see, the only prep I did to this canvas was the back. And I hope you can see that it didn't bow. But I learned my lesson not to be using the Pro Marine. Because I'm not very fast at uh at it, so Pro Marine needs doesn't have a long working time. Okay, I'm gonna do another. 12 by 24. I'm going to use the teal base tint from Stone Coat Countertops. I'm going to use the dark turquoise from Color Obsession. Um, I got this in a mystery box. It's a res resin tint and it's black. And then I'm going to do a little bit of this coral mica powder. And I'm figuring I'm going to do this mica powder. Uh, it I can't say it's gold, but I can't say it's bronze or copper. It's a metallic. That's all I can say. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get my resin in all my cups. I got a bigger cup for the base tint because I got to cover the whole canvas with it. Don't know if I'm going to do any swipes today, but we'll see. And I am using the Art Coat by uh, Stone Coat Countertops. Okay. That's about, oh, maybe three and a half, four ounces for my base tint. And then I'm going to mix up the colors. I'm thinking I might try a ring pour with the, um, with the colors. I don't know yet. But you guys will come along on this little journey with me. I did mix my resin before I turned on the camera. Because it does take a while to mix. It's um, it's like all the other resins. It's just a one-to-one -one ratio. And you just keep stirring. Um, with your... Um, well, I use a, a, a silicone spatula. Okay, I got just a little bit left that I'm going to leave in there just in case. You never know. Okay. This is the teal base tint. Now, you only want to put... Well, first off, this is not the container it comes in. It comes in a different container. But I have learned that to put it in the squeeze bottle. I just peeled the label off and taped it on here. And it's a lot easier to open and close this. Now you don't want to put too much in there. Okay, hopefully that's not too much. Remember, when you add color, you can always take the color um, put put more color. Oh, great. There we go. I thought for a minute there my jar wasn't going to open. Okay, this is the Dark Turquoise by Color Obsession. I have uh, a link listed below of where I get my colors from. I get no kickback from this. I am just adding it to my page for people who don't know about that page. Okay. And I'm going to do a dollop on the end of that. And I'm not going to put that paper back in there. Now this. Uh, I want to move that paper. Makes me nervous. I'm afraid I'm going to get it all over my arm. Okay, this is the uh, resin tint. Um, because it's a used bottle, I don't know... I can't see on the label who makes it, so I can't tell you where I got I got it in a mystery box. 
and oh it's a little greenish okay something's not right with this oh i hope it's okay oh now i see what i just did damn it okay i just put it in the wrong cup oh, i wasn't paying attention well we'll see what that we'll see what that um little bit of resin tint does with the dark turquoise Oh, I'm not sure why it's not coming out. Let me get a toothpick and try to, I don't know if the tip's clogged or if it's just hard in there. Okay. Ah, oh, well... That's about all I can get out of it. So if I like it, because now I can try it like that, I will probably order some. Okay, and this is a coral colored mica powder. Ah, I should have put it in first. When you're putting in powders, you want to be very careful when you're stirring it. Because... If you start stirring it too fast, it will. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this one. Okay, there we go. Now it sounds like it's mixed up. Oh, stupid me. I probably left the paper inside. Yeah, I did. Oh, well. Live and learn. Always check your containers and get, especially if they're new, to get rid of the little papers inside before you start thinking you're going to get some out of it. I'm not sure if that's a copper or if it's a, uh, or if it's a bronze. It's real pretty. Okay. First, I want to stir this. I want to see what it's going to do. I didn't mean to add the black to it, but I wasn't paying attention when I... Okay, it doesn't look like it hurt it any. Scrape off as you're mixing your tints in. If you have used your stick to get the tints out of the jar, scrape it off on the edge so you can incorporate what's stuck to the stick. Okay, I'm going to put that guy over there reason I'm using the wooden sticks instead of those um, plastic stir sticks is I got a lot of them to use up. I haven't even started on a box of a thousand that I bought. So I'm going to just use them up. And yeah, it looks pretty opaque. I hope I didn't add too much. Okay, now Here's the black resi tint all by itself. With it being a white colored uh, teal for the background, I wanted to do two dark colors and two other colors on top of it. Okay. For some reason, that doesn't look like it's very dark. The canvas I'm working on, I don't know if I mentioned it yet or not, is a, a 12 by 24 it's another one that i prepped on the back with the mod podge that comes in a uh you know how they got different colored labels for each kind of mod podge well this one has the purple label it says on the top hard finish for furniture and basically i just take a little foam brush go over the back and this one's got a crossbar somewhere right in the middle and I kind of pushed some of it, you know, went underneath the crossbar with it. Oh, this one is so pretty. Now, you noticed I mixed it slow when I first started mixing until the powder got all the way incorporated. Because you don't want the powder flying out into your face. Um, anyway, like I was saying, I did go a little bit underneath it with the foam brush with the, um, uh, 
with the hard coat for Mod Podge because I wanted to make sure that it uh, didn't droop even in the middle with the crossbar there. These are canvases. I'm thinking I got these at Dick Blick's. But they're the very, very, the cheapest ones they have. Let's put it that way. I think they're called student grade. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, let me get rid of this little piece of paper and this little stick. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is go over. I got a little bit of powder on there. I'm going to go over. The whole canvas with this base tint, the teal. Hopefully I have enough. I think I do. I'm just drizzling it around the edge. I need it one a little bit more over here. And then going across the middle. And basically I'm just going to push it over the whole canvas with my fingers. over the, um, all the way up to the edge. Just to give it, um, a base tint below the colors. Because when you use the Stone Coat, um, countertops base tint underneath your colors, and then you push your colors over the base tint, you get some real pretty cells. And I'm trying my hardest to get cells. Okay. See, I'm just pushing it up to the edge. I don't want it to go... Well, if it goes over the edge, it's not going to be a big deal. Because once I start heating it up and everything, it'll probably go over the edge. You know, tilting it, swiping it, whatever. Or tilting it to get rid of something I don't like. I will heat this up to get rid of the air bubbles before I start adding the other colors. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Because um, I'm trying to get away from heating my stuff too much. That's another thing. Um, besides, you don't want to add a lot of the colorant to the uh, to the resin when you're using the uh, Stone Coat Countertops Base Tint. Because then you won't get cells. And then, well, if you add way too much, you'll get a fluffy mess. As uh, Erica likes to call it, marshmallow. And I don't want marshmallow on my paintings. I want a hard glass finish that gives me cells and then turns into hard glass. Okay, I gotta get some of this over here. I unfortunately didn't cut a piece of paper big enough for this whole thing, but I do have black plastic underneath my freezer paper so and it feels pretty tight so maybe it won't droop the other one didn't droop I was very very happy about that because I've been so scared of doing resin on canvases so I wanted to find, oh, I don't know what that is. Probably a little bit of the mica powder that jumped out of the cup as I was putting it in. Or mixing it. But that's okay, it'll get covered up. Okay. I think first... I am going to heat it up enough to get rid of the uh, bubbles. So, let me get my handy dandy little heat gun out. I keep a rag next to me with, um, and I also have 91% isopropyl alcohol on it. And that keeps, um, that keeps your fingers from getting other things sticky once you've used your fingers to uh, wipe um, stuff. Yeah, bubbles, bubbles, go away. I see a couple of little bare spots, but 
I think once I get the other colors on there, those little bare spots will get covered up with the resin. Okay, got rid of the air bubbles. I have no idea what that... Uh, tweezers, tweezers. Sorry, don't mean to block the camera. Okay, get rid of that nastiness and use the tweezers just a little bit to get the resin over those couple of spots. Okay, wipe the tweezers off so they don't get stuck together. Okay, um, I think I'm going to try that ring pour. That's supposed to be kind of like angel wings, but I don't have any white, so... Okay, first I'm going to put some turquoise in a cup. It's the dark turquoise. Then I'm going to do a lighter color next to it. And you don't want to, oh, sorry. You don't want to pour it too fast because you don't want it to, you want to hold it close. You don't want it to sink. What you want is, is you want it to uh, just stay on top of the other color below it. Okay, here is the black with the uh, resin tint. Which doesn't look that opaque, but we will see. Now, I'm not using all the colors in this cup. Um, I don't know how it's going to do over, over the whole canvas. Okay, oops. Well, that'll get covered up. Okay, here is all my colors. Now, I have seen people do this. They pinch the cup. I don't know if you can see where I'm starting at, but here is... Here is, um, I'm tilting it so it runs. Now I got the coral out, some of the black. Now I see the metallic color coming out. I, it does, I don't want it to look like angel wings. I just want it to look good. And I do like the effects that I'm getting. Okay, and I haven't even heated it up and it's going. I love that. But I will heat it up a little bit to get rid of the bubbles. Ah, you know what? I can't turn this on one hand. There we go. And maybe to make it a little bit, um, a little bit more loose, I guess you could say. I am going to have to put some more of the base tin up there because it's disappearing. Okay, I don't want to heat it up too much. Okay. I, nah, I can see a difference in there. It doesn't do like an acrylic pour does. Okay, get it to go that way. I probably should have used very distinct different colors. I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm just tilting it this way now to get the stuff to run over this way. Okay. I do want to put a little bit... Oh, I didn't leave that much. Well, not a big deal. I do want to get some over here on this edge because it all tilted off of there. And I do have a little bit more resin if I need to. Okay, this spot is bothering me. Okay. 
I know my canvas. I checked it before. I checked it before I uh, even started the camera to make sure it was level. It's got push pins in the back. Okay, let me try rolling some of this color over the... Okay, something's not going right here. There we go. Go, 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 go. There we go. It's not really looking like a ring for a uh, tree ring for anymore or angel wing, but it's still got a pretty good a pretty good design. I may go down the middle with some of these lighter colors. Okay. That's enough of that because I don't want to heat it up too much. And what I now now that I'm using art coat today by Stone Coat Countertops, I have definitely got a longer working time. I do not know what that's going to do, but I wanted it. Okay, now um, I want to save that for some lines. try some swipes towards it. I don't know what I'm doing with the colors. I'm just adding them. Okay. Heat it up just a little bit. Okay. I'm not very good at swipes, so... Let me see what happens when I tilt. Oh, it tilted off the edge. I really didn't want that, but... I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this bottom part, I wanted to do some swipes. So, I am trying my hardest to get better at these swipes. And a little trick I just saw Erica do last night was you wipe the resin off on the edge of your canvas so you don't waste it. There we go. Yeah, got some on there. Okay. Okay. 
Let's do a swipe through here. Probably going too fast. That might be my biggest problem is going through them too fast. Okay. I'm going to swipe out this line because it looks so funny right here. on the edge okay let me see what else do I want to do I'm trying to get rid of these like curly lines where it poured out funny so I'm trying to swipe through them Okay, let me see. Wonder if I can just do a big swipe right here. Oops. To get some of this color over this corner. happy that this edge is showing the canvas through it. I don't know where that drop came from, so... So, let me just do this. Whoops. I know everybody's probably yelling at me for what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to get some color around the canvas and some movement. I can get the green to cover up that edge. Okay, this paper is shot. So let me throw that away. Let me clean off my fingers. I know I'm probably doing a ton of this wrong, but... Like I said, I'm not an expert at it. Come on, on. Didn't use any of that black, because that black just doesn't, I don't know, it just... Yeah, I got the heat up.
There we go. I got my rag in it. Oh, melting my black plastic. Okay. I am going to put some lines of this gold in here. Or bronze or copper I'm not sure it's pretty whatever it is it's pretty Grip. There we go. Come on. Ah, it's got a drop where I didn't want it, but I'll blow it out. Just kind of outlining some of the shapes. lines of this metallic okay let me pop my heat bubbles Blow out the line a little bit. Okay, I don't know what else to do to it, really. Let me try tilting just a little bit, just to get some of that stuff towards the edge. There we go. Heading right towards the edge. That's looking a lot better to me. Ah. Eh. Getting my glove in the corner. Super tilt. That's what Jeff always calls it. Well, that's what everybody in the ATD family calls it. Whoops. Leaking off the edge. That's okay. I got black plastic on the floor, too. I learned from watching a lot of their videos cover everything in black plastic, especially when you're like me and you have to work in your living room. That to me now looks a lot better. So, all I'm going to do now is touch up the edges with the drips on the uh, on the uh, paper and try not to step on what's on the floor so 
I hope everybody learned something. If nothing else, maybe you learn what not to do by watching my mistakes. So if you like this video, please put a thumbs up below it. Uh, comment on it. Share it with your friends. Even if it's just you're going to laugh at my techniques. I don't care because I never said I was an expert. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. And then tap the little bell behind it for the notification so you get notified every time I put up a new video. My goal this month for the month of January 2018 is to do one project a day, every day. And I try to do it during the early enough so I can put it up the same day. Anyway, so... I thank you so much for watching. I'm going to fix the edges a little bit on this and look for dust and hair and whatnot and put it in the dust-free zone. Anyway, so thank you for watching and y'all have a nice day. Bye for now.